We're here today roach fishing on a mill stream that runs just off the back of the Thames in Oxfordshire. This time of year when the river's in flood, there could be many reasons why fish are here. These could be to escape the, the main flow, it could be to feed on the loose offerings when the ducks are being fed, or the water temperature could be one or two degrees warmer, which can make all the difference. absolutely loads of them around here. I thought the commotion that was made at the beginning um, may hinder the fishing, but it doesn't seem that they've moved at all, which is good. The challenges of fishing in public places are the members of the public stopping, shouting, chucking things in when you're fishing, um, but we've got to remember that the fish are just used to it. No, <laughs> no, only roach. Um, perch and pike. Mostly roach. Thank you. That's all right, don't worry about it. <laughs> this morning the geese have been an absolute nightmare. Um, swimming through the peg, uh, underneath the pole, and we can hardly hear ourselves talk. Despite the noise and disturbance that the geese are making, it doesn't seem to have put the roach off because I'm still getting bites in and amongst when they're swimming through my peg. So my approach today is to fish the pole down the middle and feed in small balls of liquidised bread and fish in a punch bread on the hook. I've gone with a bread approach today mainly because the amount of members of the public throwing in bread throughout the day, I just think it's a natural food source for these roach. The stream here is only 18 inches to two foot deep, um, so it's a very shallow venue. I find it's very important to fish a longer length of line between your pole tip and float so you don't spook the roach when they're feeding over the top. So I'm fishing the bread punch today, one or two inches above the bottom, so I can have a clear run through my peg without touching any debris on the bottom. So I find when roach fishing on flowing water, they can often be found in three different places, above your feed, on top of your feed, and below your feed. And to maximise your chances of catching them in all three of these areas, it's important to feed downstream of your peg. This is because your rig presentation, when you lay it in in front of you, it's fishing above your bait, um, and then running all the way through the same line as you fed. So when I'm plumbing up, I'm looking to find the deepest part of my peg, whether that's three quarters of the way over, down the middle, or just short of the middle, um, because you often find roach will sit in holes that's fractionally deeper than anywhere else in your peg. So the stream we're fishing today is only 18 inches to two foot deep, um, and has a silty bottom. I can tell that it's a silty bottom because when I plumb up, uh, the plummet just plugs into the silt as I'm lifting it back up. On top of the silt, there's loads of twigs, branches, leaves, you name it, it's in there. Um, but as you can see, I've marked on my pole uh, the dead depth so I have a reference point throughout the day so I don't have to keep on plumbing up. So I mark the pole with tip X, which just scratches off at the end of the session so it doesn't damage your top kit. So when fishing venues like this, it can pay off raking your peg a few days before you fish, just so you can clear any debris that's on the bottom. And also if it is a silty bottom like it is today, you can clear a two, three, four inch indentation in the silt, which can make all the difference for the roach being there or not. So this is actually uh, Peter's rake, um, which is, he's given me strict instructions not to lose it. And if I do, I need to go in and retrieve it. Okay. No. Uh, not good. <laughs> ah, there you go. Got it. Small streams like these are often forgotten about due to the fact that they're so shallow and narrow, people don't realise what quality fish really do live in them. So I fished here a couple of weeks ago and had a really nice bag of roach. The conditions were totally different. Uh, it was warmer, uh, the there was a lot of colour in the water as well. Um, and turning up at the bank today, the colour had dropped out and it had just got bitterly cold, but it still turned out to be a fantastic day's fishing. When the rivers are in flood, it's worth having a look at the streams that run around them because you'll be surprised what can live in there. <laughs> 